Hello again, YouTube. We are doing free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures, J basic JavaScript course on challenge 1.9 of 113. So today, we are going to use parse int function with a radix. So basically, this is saying that um, you can use a radix uh, in the parse int built in function. Uh, and that will tell it that it is in the binary system and it can convert it that way. So if we pass it these binaries, it can convert them if we pass it a radix. So uh, that can be an integer between 2 and 36. Getting into binary, uh, it's definitely something that if you have to use in a project or an uh, you know a, a job or something, you'll have to learn more about binary before you can kind of fully understand this. But um, yeah, we're going to use base2 for this example. So this is pretty simple. All we have to do here is say return parse parse int with the string. So we have a function here, and we just want to return that string parsed into a number. String, and then comma, the second argument of 2. So it's going to take this base2 binary and know that it's base2 binary because of that 2, and convert it. So yeah, that's all we have to do for that. If we console.log, what we're getting, it's converting this base2 binary string into integers that we're used to. So as you can see, it's converting them. If we get a string that is letters and not a bunch of binary base2 ones and zeros, uh, it'll say NAN, not a number. So yeah, that's all we should do for that. Hope that made sense. Uh, definitely check out some binary base two explained videos. Uh, definitely an interesting concept and kind of what, I mean, literally what all this is built upon, everything we're doing. So hope that helped. Hope to see you guys in the next one.